looks like a block. Oh, this was a huge hit when I was a kid. Like last week. Banner thinks he's so clever with this demonic barrier, but I promise you, I'm gonna have the last laugh. This isn't about one-upmanship, Tony. Just let me focus, and I can get Hunter through the barrier. What's the holdup? Besides your incessant grumbling about Banner in my ear, I haven't yet found a way to properly shield the Hunter to pass through the barrier. Yeah, sure. While you're working on your magic fairy dust, I'll figure out how we get the parchment back here. It's too dangerous to be left out there in the wild. It's not fairy dust. That's all wrong for this job. And if this sanctum was still around, that would have been the perfect place to store the parchment. Well, it's gone, and Banner's still out there taunting me. So let's hurry up and get some answers. Hunter, do you have a spare gamma accelerator? I'm serious, what kind of ancient hero are you if you don't have the latest experimental gamma technology in your back pocket? Of course, but I put them in my gamma pants. Sorry. <sighs> you have gamma pants? Jealous! Do you not have other things to be focusing on right now? Well, no, actually. Among other things, I'm trying to figure out how to breach that nasty barrier of go away that Banner managed to throw up around the Hydra Lab. Strange swears up and down that he'll be able to pierce the veil. If he can deliver, great. Otherwise, he should get out of the way, you know? The rivalry between you and Strange is somewhat amusing, but the time for amusements is running out. You need to find a way to work together. Are you kidding me? I love the Doc. Yeah, he's a little stiff, but we're like brothers. I even let him use my beard trimmers. You still feel confident in your plan to destroy the parchment with the accelerator? Well, I've been going over my father's files. He had big plans for this thing. Let's just say I don't think anything would withstand being on the wrong end of it at the wrong time. You believe your father had ill intent for this device? <laughs> he had ill intent for everything. But this, in particular. I think he was trying to find a way to unlock the scientific essence of magic itself. So in a way, it's kind of poetic. I'm gonna use Dad's shady tech to stop Banner's shady treachery. Forget about revenge, Tony. Think about the ways that technology could be used for good. I cannot allow my own vengeance to consume me. Well, I see your point. I don't want to wallow in the muck, stay above it, etc., etc. Look, I'm not getting anything done. I'll tell you what, let's find this Gamma Accelerator, bring Banner back from the dark side, stop your mom, and then we can sit down and have a nice chat. I've got this awesome new juicer back at my place, we can do it there. Juicer? Oh, you'll love it. It would juice your shoes if you let it. In the meantime, back to work. While you were on your little fetch quest... I have a few theories on who sent those souls and to us. You wanted to see me? You won't believe this, but we did it. Did what? Remember that first account of Lil and Corruption I found in the Book of Thoth? You mean the story of the ancient pharaoh who was struck down with corruption, and the traveling light worker who purified him? That's the one. Of course, I remember. Well, Magic and I finally transcribed the incantation the light worker used. And I'm pretty sure we can use it to finally remove your psycho mom's corruption over Wanda. Pretty sure is not enough. Especially not when meddling with powers that are as unstable as chaos magic. Jeez, Hunter. Sound like caretaker much? The incantation killed someone, Nico. It just does not sound safe. Oh, it's definitely not safe. 
How so? <clears throat> uh, full disclosure, the reason the Lightworker died was because he had to take on all that dark energy into his body, and he just couldn't handle it. I tried finding a workaround, but all the texts on Chaos Magic said the same thing. Corruption can't be destroyed. It has to go somewhere, or to, like, somebody. So whoever removes it from Wanda will also have to absorb it. Please tell me you are not going to attempt to absorb it. You will surely fall. Oh, I'm not absorbing your mother's toxic energy. You are. Excuse me? B before you freak out, just hear me out. You're Lilith's kid. Out of everyone here, the only person who has a shot of absorbing all that dark energy and not falling is you. Besides, if you don't do it, I will, and then you'll have my demise on your hands. So, welcome aboard, Hunter. When is this happening? As soon as we break back into Banner's lab. Oh, and uh, just one more thing, so listen up because it's kind of crucial. I'm gonna need you to memorize the incantation and recite it verbatim when you see Wanda in his lab. It's the only way to subdue her. It goes... <clears throat> Ego sum tenebris et venunt in domum suam iubet dominus. Ego sum tenebris domun domini precepta your. Think you can remember that, Hunter? I can handle anything. I knew I resurrected you for a reason. You need to memorize those lines as if your own life depends on it. Because it just might. Remember to study your lines, Hunter, because you do not want to screw this up. Hunter, I've got a theory. Want to hear it? My theory is that it's underappreciated work to be an awesome badass loon. I mean, did you see what happened when Blaze read the parchment aloud? That was an act of mad genius. Maybe one day you will see Blaze for the man he truly is. I hope it comes soon. I don't. The guy's a stone-cold legend. No reason why we should look for ways to tear him down. Especially after he saved our asses. After all that, we still do not have the parchment. Without it, we cannot destroy it. Here's the thing. He's got no one to rely on. It's just him out there, facing this stuff all alone. He's not gonna give us something like the parchment easily. I think... We all need to cut him some slack. Maybe we should all adopt his attitude. We are all fighting the same battle. Our backs are against the same wall. Perhaps our civility is holding us back. I wish I could be a genius like him. If we have to be more like Blaze in order to win this war, then so be it. Seeing Blaze in action really solidified some things for me, Hunter. And what is that? I still got a long way to go if I ever want to make my mark as a spirit of vengeance. Then you have work to do. Uh, yeah, I do. It's just hard to gain that kind of confidence when I'm always left on the sidelines. Anyways, I had to tune up the ride. She really took a beating out in the desert. The fool Blaze risks us all with his reckless antics, blindly wielding the parchment of power like a child with their first wooden sword. Who knows what horrors he could have unleashed? We are fortunate he did not destroy us all. 
Had you not forced his hand, perhaps he would not have used it, Mother. Men like Blaze need little justification for their actions, don't they? Besides, it was not I who set the soulless upon you. It's bad enough you and your misguided heroes are hell-bent on keeping the parchment from me. If someone, something else, were to get their hands on that wretched thing. Wretched? You would speak ill of your precious Darkhold? The Darkhold is many things. Precious is not one of them. The book has a will of its own. It enslaves and then destroys any soul foolish enough to try and tame it. No matter how strong they may think they are. Better to help me contain the damage, lest it consume us all. As long as any of us draw breath, we will stand against it. Against you. And as I have tried so hard to explain to you, child, I am not your enemy. Then prove it. Cast away that foul book and reclaim what remains of your soul. If only it were that simple. The parchment of power will be found. The dark holds will be made whole. He wills it so. Secret guardians, sorcerers, and tinkerers, your so-called family will shatter before the coming storm. But you and I will stand tall, precious child, united before the eye of the midnight sun. I would not count on that, Mother. The parchment of power's ability to conjure walls of fire is, as Stark would say, a feature, not a bug. Strange also said don't read the parchment. How's it going? Ah, Hunter. Just who I was hoping to see. I understand you've already been on the hunt with Blade, so you're aware of our unusual visitor on the grounds? Yes. We encountered something Blade called the Bar Guest. His instincts were correct. I believe it is indeed the Bar Guest, or someone's attempt at creating a facsimile of one. Is the Abbey in danger? Not unless we provoke it. However, it seems to harness a dark magic similar to what courses through the barrier. I need you to track this bar guest, capture it, and bring it to me here in the forge. But please, don't kill it. It's my hope that I can find a way to use its magics to break through the barrier to the lab. After battling Hydra agents and Fallen, Tracking a pup on the Abbey ground sounds like a vacation. Do not let your guard down, Hunter. As I said, it's no ordinary dog, but a demonic entity. I suggest you bring Blade and Wolverine with you. I believe the portal will soon be at its apex. I'll do my best to keep it stable until you can cross. I'll see you there, Hunter. Track the beast quickly. Time is of the essence. We don't know the forces we're meddling with. We might as well have emailed our location directly to Hydra. The parchment of power is not to be trifled with. Am I the only one who listened to Caretaker and Strange? Now more than ever, we must destroy the parchment of power as soon as possible. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. just saw the parchment of power. There goes our element of surprise. Wow, Blaze didn't hesitate to read. Was that Latin? Mine's rusty. Also, did old Skullhead just damn us? 
Until next time. Johnny Blaze put us all in danger. Johnny's a damn good ghostwriter, but he sucks at following simple instructions. Time to take it to the next level. New and improved. I already got a whiff of that demon dog you're after. Blade said it gave you two the slip the other night. I want in on the next run. Perhaps that is what our hunt is missing. Your positive attitude. Me? Positive? That's a new one. But I am curious about this mystery dog of yours. This supernatural beast roaming the Abbey grounds has proven difficult to track. Still, Strange thinks it may be critical to breaking through the barrier. Blade's no slouch, and I've seen you in action. This thing must be the real deal if it's giving you trouble. It is a Bargist. It resembles a hound, but it is not. It is a spectral omen of death. I thought I smelled a weird doggy odor out by your old crypt. I chalked it up to the side effects of your resurrection. I do not smell like a dog, thank you very much. <laughs> ah, I'm just busting your chops. You smell a lot worse than a dog. This beast is vitally important. You say you picked up the scent near Hunter's Folly? Yeah, that's right. If I went back there, I could probably pick it up. No sweat. So, I'll meet you there? Did you just invite yourself along? Bet your ass I did. I'll see you at the Folly tonight. See you at Hunter's Folly. Is this visit business or pleasure? We have work to do. Then let's not waste any more time. What's going on? I spoke with Strange. He believes the Bargist is more important than we originally understood. I also talked with Wolverine. I know it was not easy for you to admit that we lost the creature. I'll get over it once we capture that damn thing. You will have your chance. The doctor feels it is imperative that we capture the creature as soon as possible for his research. When is it ever not imperative with these guys? Wolverine has agreed to join us. I assume you have no issue there? The more the merrier. We should start up at Hunter's Folly. That's the last place I saw this thing's tracks. Wolverine also smelled something in that area, so it is agreed. Then I'll see you tonight at the Folly. Blaze really screwed us over on this one. Just saying, Abby could use a cat to counter Charlie's big dog and a... I don't want to waste your time, so I'll be direct. I overheard you, Nico, and Magic talking in the chapel last night. I hope you three are not planning another foolish excursion to rescue you-know-who. Nico and Magic care for Wanda deeply. So deeply, they are having a hard time letting her go. Hunter, I need you to be straight with me. Are they planning another attempt to save her? Yes or no? Nico did not want me to tell you, but... Yes. Yes, they are. Ah, I knew it. 
What half-brained scheme is she planning now? She thinks she has a spell to remove corruption. She what? Unbelievable. If she doesn't get herself killed, she will surely take down whoever helps her. Thank you for telling me. I will speak to her as soon as we're done here. In the meantime, is there anything else you'd like to know? Or tell me? I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. We'll talk more later. Oh, Hunter. Thanks for your honesty today. Grizzly old biker dudes. They just do whatever they want. Oh, might as well have handed the page over to Lilith. Don't worry. Chewie would never hurt Charlie. that when you mess with the Midnight Suns. No sweat! At least four percent stronger than the door. Check my map. This should be good. today because you're going to have to deal with one of the fallen. Still they persist. I have heard a great deal about Wanda, but now I finally see her power with my hands. How invigorating. What's for you? No 
not to brag, but I feel pretty good right now. chose me above all of you. I have spotted enemy reinforcements. I think you've lost your way. You're not taking me seriously. Right. It almost reminds me of my mother. I feel stronger already. Stay in shape. Just like old times. Get the run any way we know how. It really is a great way to stay in shape. Maybe you do not be in trouble, friend. do not want to hurt you, Wanda. They care about you more than you understand. Your time has come! You will be Just a distraction. Let us take them down together. Is all coming back to me.
something. abandons you. Hopefully they learned their lesson, but we all know that's wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> 